Hi, I'm Heather from Handbook Tubes, and today is another 24 and 24 vlog. These are coming at you quickly in May because I will be taking June off from them. And I don't want to be behind because there needs to be 24 of them in the year 2024. So basically one every two weeks if we're on schedule. But right now, we're cramming them in once a week. So far this morning, I have done all the usual morning stuff. And I also watched the Swiftologist's reaction to the Tortured Poets Department performance set list change for the Eras Tour. And then today is the day that Boa by Megan Thee Stallion is out. So I watched the music video and now I'm listening to the EP, which is just the same song, but different version. So I'm going to listen to that and then I will put the regular version on a playlist probably, but loving that. I love that Megan Thee Stallion is like, is able to include all of her interests in her aesthetics and her uh, music videos and her trips and everything. And like, she's just living her best life. And I just, I'm so happy watching it. Obviously it's just a parasocial <laughs> relationship, but at the same time, like I want nothing but good things for her for forever. And I want nothing but good things for uh, black girls to be able to be nerdy and, you know, have their, their cosplays and all the things. So I don't know, it's just like, awesome. I know I'm not even kind of the only person that feels that way about it, but truly it just brings me so much joy. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to watch her uh, get to do those things. So that was really cool. I liked the whole concept of the music video and everything. So into that, surprising no one. <laughs> and then my back is killing me today. It feels like my whole back needs cracked, you know, that like tightness and stiffness. I also still can't hear. And I did it to myself. <laughs> with q-tips so like I'm scared to mess with it anymore so I'm not or anything but um yeah I feel like I have blockages in my ears that's very exciting love that for me <laughs> today I have a lot of booktube stuff to do so and I also have to take my kids to a birthday party and like other stuff like that but that's not till later so I need to, this is coming out after these next two videos so I can kind of talk about them um, pretty freely. Last night I uploaded my rant review. So today I need to make my thumbnail for it. I need to do the admin for it, schedule it. It's going live tomorrow. And then I also today want to do the second edit and the voiceover for the Cruel Prince video. And then I want to get that uploaded today. And if I have enough time, I'd kind of like to do the admin for it too. But if not, that's fine. But I at least want to be done with the edit so that I can save it and upload it. So that then when I am editing this video, that one's already done and off my phone and up on YouTube. Um, that's kind of my method, <laughs> my mythology. I've been changing around some of my schedule, which really shouldn't surprise anyone. Tomorrow's video was supposed to be the TikTok ick, but instead it's going to be the rant review, which means I have to move. All right, so this is what I've got right now. So this needs moved to here. This needs moved to here. I don't know when I'm going to do this. And then this is going to be the rant review that isn't even on a post-it. Uh, I need to do the TikTok one sooner rather than later because I have like a couple hundred screenshots on my phone and I would like to not have to keep them. <laughs> Let's do that. I also really need to answer comments today on YouTube and answer my Instagram DMs. That would be a good idea. I've got clean laundry put away. You know, you know how it goes. I mean, it's obviously dishes to wash, parenting to be done, <laughs> you know, all the things. But today I am reading a book for the 24 and 24 TBR that I am the most excited about. It's basically like the only book I feel like that is a guaranteed four or five star and basically a guaranteed five star. 
that is Sanctuary by Claire Kent. It's Kindle number six, I think. I'm really, really excited to read it and break the streak of never ending 24 and 24 DNFs. <laughs> I'd also kind of like to read a manga today. I want to read The Apothecary Diaries Volume 2. I read the first one this month already and loved it. Loved it. Five stars. Like, very excited about it. Really delightful. I just kind of wanted to keep reading it, which is not very often with me for manga. So, just super excited about that. So, I want to read volume two. I'm working on an arc of something. It's like saints and storms and sorrows, but I don't know the order that that goes in. I think I might have started it yesterday, but only read a couple pages. Saints of Storm and Sorrow by Gabriella Buba. And this is a bisexual, sapphic, Filipino, anti-colonization fantasy so I'm really excited about it and I have just barely started that but I would like to make progress in it because I want to get that arc read this month so if I can read at least the first chapter today that would be really good yeah I also need to update my reading journal because I haven't done it for the rant review one I don't know I feel like there's more like desk stuff that I need to get done. So I guess today is gonna be a little bit of a day in the life of a booktuber. <laughs> That's exciting. A little bit of a change of pace for these vlogs, hopefully. And we'll see if I do anything physical, if my back loosens up and the ibuprofen kicks in and all that jazz. So busy, but good day, hopefully. I'm going to go and make the thumbnail, which I have to do on my phone. So sorry, I can't give you any footage of it, but uh, guarantee you I'm not the person to come to for a tutorial anyway, so I don't know that we're really missing out on all that much. Hi, I have the hiccups. Hopefully they go away because nobody got time for that and definitely not me. I don't stretch. I don't exercise. Don't let this fool you. All right, I've done the thumbnail. I've done the playlist and tags and scheduled. I still have to do the rest of the admin for that. I did the second edit. I did the voiceover. I did reading the quotes, which would have been much easier if I still had the book. <laughs> I wasn't having to try and read it on the screen. I will say, if I ever do that again, best believe voiceover will happen while I still have the book with the tabs and it has not been taken out and returned to the library. That was a mistake. Mistakes have been made, but nonetheless, we persevered. We got it done. I feel like the Cruel Prince video was pretty experimental and um, I think it's gonna flop and I think it was a lot of work. <laughs> so, not feeling great about it, but I am posting it anyways because I'm making myself post it. <laughs> Sometimes that's just what you gotta do. Annie Hugh, so finish that complete edit. So now I can save that video while I do the rest of the admin for the rant review. So my video finished saving so I can use my phone again. So the first thing I have to do is voice message Ray and tell her that I got approved on NetGalley for The Maid and the Crocodile by Jordan and Fuego, which I did not think was going to happen. I was just shooting my shot in the dark, okay? I was like, this uh, request is not going to be approved at all. Like, it's going to be just night, but whatever. Because it's like a fantasy moment in the same world as... Ray Bear, which I did not read the second book of, but I did that on Ray's recommendation. So, you know, I feel justified. Anyways, I, I gotta go tell her. I gotta go tell her. And also, additionally, I'm very hyped about this if you can't tell. Additionally, that means that I had to add more boxes to my NetGalley trackers journal spread because I have enough NetGalley approvals. <laughs> it's fine everything is fine um i already had three six eight approved net gallery requests that i haven't read yet so now i have nine i'm not even sure when this comes out august of course all of these books come out in 
July or August except for one comes out in June and one comes out in like October I think but like everything else is July or August so they are very heavy very heavy release months I'm so excited I wonder if Ray requested I wonder if Ray got approved um I'm gonna feel really bad if she gets denied and I don't if she gets denied Maybe I'll just delete this whole thing and never even have it. I talked to Ray and she is requesting the arc. So we don't know yet if she got approved or denied. But know this. If you like Ray Bearer, you should go and follow Ray at Bookmark Chronicles. She's the best. Okay, remember how I was like so happy two seconds ago? Uh, and then I went on Instagram to message Ray. And then I saw more genocide stuff. And now I'm sad and, you know, feel completely helpless. And I just have to go about my day, whether you do. <laughs> and you just watch little kids get murdered for sport. So, anyways, it never ceases to just amaze me in the most horrific of ways how propaganda and just the othering of people allows for such atrocities and it's not an excuse obviously but at the same time like every mass scale horrific thing horrific genocide and holocaust and all of these things that we've seen and slavery which was its own form of genocide right like all of it has been justified to the people perpetrating it because of saying well these aren't people like we are people i made myself soup that i wanted thinking no one else would eat it but actually my hubby really liked it and i gave a bunch to my dad and uncle so that worked out but <laughs> it was really good creamy tortellini sausage kale soup uh yeah, and I wish I had canned tomatoes. That would have been better. Then I finished off a candle. So I feel like it's always good to show using things up, using things till they're done, which means at some point in the near future, I gotta go buy another one. Then I tried to hype myself up to take my children to this children's birthday party, which honestly, kids' birthday parties are arguably the very worst part of being a parent. Just know that. So uh, fake it till you make it is my motto. <laughs> Just trying to hype up. Next morning, enthusiastic. Well, it is a morning. <laughs> Saturday mornings mean watching Ray at Bookmark Chronicles while I drink my coffee. I was gone from the house for like five hours last night and I think I'm just going to keep this vlog going. I'm getting ready to go yard sailing with my mom and my daughter and um, I have other stuff I want to do in the vlog. I don't want to make a whole nother video. This video isn't even the next video that's going live so I have several days to like get it up. So I think I'm just going to continue this vlog and that's what we're going to do. So uh and go yard sailing <laughs> and baby it is cold outside we went from 80 degrees to 50 degrees in Pennsylvania and I'm not cut out for <laughs> for the cold weather I'm not but I was on Twitter this morning and I found like a bunch of authors from a thread from Mel I will link her account um she's very popular on twitter so you probably know her if you're on like the romance twitter side that i'm on anyways i found i was she got ku again and she was asking for recommendations so people were <laughs> were posting recommendations so basically if they had one of my favorite authors in their uh recommendations i checked out the other authors that i wasn't familiar with so i added a bunch to try which is so good because i need new authors like I feel like my TBR has been so stale lately I have the authors that I love that are gonna deliver every single time but they don't have unlimited backlist <laughs> and I need more new authors and I just feel like a lot of my favorites have been like slowed down on their releases so like I just I'm not having as much as I was and I'm running out of <laughs> backlist and I'm freaking out a little bit because I I'm trying so many new to me authors and they're almost all DNFs or low ratings or you know just eh they're not new favorites and I just desperately need some new favorites <laughs> what is this I don't know
know, something with the PJ Masks stuff. Mother's Day weekend, Pride and Prejudice. to be there but little it would be better for the neighborhood that he should give up the place entirely i should not be surprised if he were to give it up as soon as any eligible purchaser uh i look i look fine i watched the six hours of the bbc pride and prejudice miniseries i did like 120 levels of a matching game i discovered um yeah <laughs> all right it's mother's day i haven't read <laughs> uh in a few days i would like to read today even though I'm addicted to this matching game it's a problem <laughs> my husband is out getting me food um and then I'm gonna have lunch and later I'm gonna play some board games with my mom but uh I don't really care a whole lot about Mother's Day my family cares about me <laughs> so it's not like this is the only day where like they're nice to me <laughs> Um, I like not having to cook. I like, you know, having my kids tell me Happy Mother's Day and giving me little crafts and stuff. But, like, I don't have a lot of uh, expectations about it. I think that the biggest thing with Mother's Day is it's like, you can't even care on that one day. You can't even care on my birthday. And, like, again, like, I have a good family. <laughs> they show that they care about me so there's not all this pressure to squeeze in all of their niceness on one day so I don't know that's my thought so I don't really care I just want to stay home my kids brought me home crafts from school my hubby got me Mexican food which is a chicken and rice bowl is one of my favorites these are the flowers that my kid picked out they got me a Dr. Pepper found drink they got me peach ring gummies which are my favorite candy what the fuck are we even doing why are we still in this vlog why are we doing this i am laying here with eardrops in my ear trying to clear out the stupid impacted earwax well i assume to be impacted earwax because i don't want to go to the doctor <laughs> I don't want to. I know that a lot of the time the points of these vlogs are to do things that I procrastinate. But let me tell you, if I can procrastinate some more, if I can somehow work my way into success, into being able to hear again without going to the doctor, I'm going to do it. I don't want to go. I don't want to make the call. I don't want to do it. So anyways, that's what we're doing. You lay here for 10 minutes. Did I remember to set the timer? No, but I can do the math of this clip plus the rest of the time to 10 minutes with the timer. Or I can just talk to you for 10 minutes. I mean, <laughs> what else are we gonna do? Besides play the stupid match game that has taken over my life. I'm on like level 260 or something stupid. <laughs> It's fine. My life is fine. Everything is good. Don't even worry about it. Uh, so yesterday was Mother's Day. Had a wonderful day. My husband, uh, you know, did everything as one does. And I didn't cook. And I ate good food. And my kid picked out a hanging flower basket. And he is betting that I'll kill it within two weeks. And... I said I didn't think it was going to last that long. <laughs> Lovely day. I like staying home and doing nothing. I did go over and play board games with my mom and my other kid went with me. We played Monopoly Deal. I dominated. So, happy Mother's Day to me. But anywho, so today, you know, don't have to wash the dishes yet. So that's keeping me alive, alert, awake, enthusiastic. This ear, though trying to do me in <laughs> do not recommend <laughs> zero out of ten have i read a single solitary page you know i haven't why are you even talking to me about this 
I was just watching Steph from Novelty Corner, her uh, how to choose a book <laughs> when you don't know when to pick video. It's so good and it's so true. Unfortunately, I know what I'm supposed to be reading and I know I'm going to love it. But I haven't done any reading, but I am feeling the Joan, Jonasing, Joan, Joan, Jonasing, doesn't matter. Um, I'm feeling it. I want to read something. Yeah. But will I? Will I? Who knows? This is the third to last day. The kids have two more days of school after today. But today they have a field trip. So they're going to be gone till like 3.30 or so. So that's exciting. But yeah, I'm trying to decide what I want to do with my my alone time, my only time without them for like the next however many months. I'll be fine. Anywho, we're at four minutes now. So I don't know if I want to clean. I don't know if I want to do absolutely nothing. And just stay here. I pretend like the mess doesn't exist. Um, or read. Probably not, let's be honest. I could do my video admin for tomorrow. Could do that. Uh, could put away clean laundry. Um, because you know that clean laundry that I had at the beginning of this vlog? Still staying in baskets. <laughs> still not put away. Let's not lie to each other, okay? It's still just sitting there because I've done absolutely nothing this weekend. Not a thing. Not a thing barely a thing and you know no regrets on that but everything still needs done except for the dishes my nemesis have we slayed that enemy <laughs> all right this is why we don't just try and kill time on video all right i don't know what i'm doing today but i do know i'm spending another three and a half minutes with these eardrops in and it's not going to do jack. And I'm still going to have to go to the doctor. But, you know, further bulletins as events for it. <laughs> for the rest of this day, I did absolutely nothing but have an existential crisis and play the matching game and be depressed. new day. I've regained the will to live. We are going to fix everything in my stupid life. I made a doctor's appointment already this morning for the ear tomorrow. So hopefully when I film a video tomorrow morning, uh, I'll be able to hear myself. That would be cool. That would be amazing. So already progress has been made. I'm going to drink my coffee and I'm going to clean and I'm going to put my video and I'm going to well, mainly those things. So this is just a reminder that not every day is a highlight reel. Even if you are posting every single day, every day is not a highlight reel. It's not about one good or one bad day. It's just about doing what you can. All right, it is 10 o'clock and I have gone a lot done in the last hour and a half or so. So I have someone coming to drop me off something that my kid left at their house. But I have put away my clean laundry, changed my sheets, cleaned my bedroom. Still have to get the trash and stuff out of there. Dog is drinking because why can they not? And I have picked up all the toys from down here. I've started a load of laundry. Um, I have gathered some dirty laundry. Um, and I've had my first coffee. Okay, lawnmower. Just driving down the street. <laughs> uh, but anywho... So that's great. That's more than I've got it done in like the last four days and I got it done in an hour or so. Go me. Um, right now I think I'm going to make a coffee and sit on the porch and wait for her to get here. That way my puppy, my puppy doesn't have to get shut the way. So uh, let's make coffee number two. Coffee number one worked. <laughs> 
for the record, because it can be hard to tell with the camera angle, that dog is never, ever, ever licking me on the mouth. Don't even question me. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right, I sat outside. I cooled off, so that was nice. I answered YouTube comments. I answered my texts. I checked in for my doctor's appointment. And now I think I'm gonna go get my video live. Um, which I still have to make the thumbnail for and I still have to do all the admin for, but you know, it's fine. Everything is fine. Or I could wait. I could wait till my kids are home because they're home early today because the eldest one has testing, so he won't be home, but the others will. Anyways, tomorrow's their last day of school. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go to the doctor. <laughs> like a moron. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. Um, anywho. So yeah, I think I want to get the video up while I finish my coffee and then I think we're going to vacuum. It'll just be easier if I get it done earlier in the day, you know? So we're going to do that next after this video while I finish my also, coffee. Also, by the way, yesterday when I was in the depths of despair, the Amazing Readathon sticker came. So I'm excited because that means I can do my June journal spread on whatever day it works out because I was waiting for this to come in because I'm kind of building it around that, obviously. Um, so yeah, now it's time to do this video. Why did that thumbnail just take me so long? So there's a lot that goes into a video other than the recording and filming and editing that you would probably already know. There's a lot of different things to add in on the back end of YouTube and YouTube Studio where, you know, you add all your stuff and select everything and add your links and just do all of the things. So that happens every video. All right, I vacuumed until the battery died. So it's charging, clean the filter, all that stuff. So I'll be ready to go for another round of vacuuming tomorrow. I maybe have up to 30 minutes till kids are here. I don't know what I wanna try and get done. Maybe another load of laundry. That's right, folded and put away. This round did not last for four days. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this video here. It was a true 24-24 vlog. Eh, not really, but we're counting it. I could go through and make up, you know, a list of 24 and 24 for today or the first day. It doesn't matter, but I'm not going to. Um, I will say I'm not going to read Sanctuary right now. I don't feel like reading it, and it is one of my, like, emergency stockpile books so i don't want to read it just for the sake of reading it i want to read it when i desperately want to read it so i'm more interested in some of the new ku books <laughs> that i have downloaded and i think i'm just going to do that um it was several days without reading that happens uh some days are better than others <laughs> on the uh accomplishing anything front that matching game did kind of take over my life for a minute but it's fine yeah. Thanks for watching. I don't know that this is worth watching, but I'm gonna post it. <laughs> I'm gonna post it and um, it's gonna count as a 24 and 24 vlog, even though questionable in all fronts. Done is better than perfect and that is what we're going with. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks for helping me get stuff done this morning. It was much needed. Appreciate it. That's it. Bye.